today we'll have a look at Aurora. Aurora, Italian brand, brand that has been around for quite a while, and I haven't reviewed a lot of Auroras. In fact, I think the only Aurora I've ever reviewed was the Ypsilon, a pen that I quite liked. That was a bit small for me. And this is actually quite small for me too, but I found it in a fountain pen store in Amsterdam, not Akamon. It's actually not a fountain pen store, it's an office supply store, but they have a decent fountain pen section, and it was 50% off, and I couldn't ignore it. So today we're going to have a look at the Aurora Optima. Now I was given the wrong box because it says 88. That is probably the most famous um, Aurora model, but this is not the 88. This is the Optima. So you have the cardboard sleeve, and then you have this really nice velvety box. Oh, I like velvet. I'm its biggest fan. Anyway, uh, it's very nice to pet and stroke. <laughs> That's what she said. And you have this little information booklet that comes along with it. And uh, it gives you pretty decent information on how to use it. Uh, tips and tricks for the pens, etc. So that's quite nice. And then you have the Optima. And I think... Now I know that Aurora fans are going to kill me for this, but I think you could consider the Optima to be a smaller version of the 88. It's not... I, I know it's not exactly the same pen. I know that, but it is smaller. And it is more more flat. The 88 has a more rounded of piston turning knob, but it's also an Aurora, also a piston filler, also a clear ink window, and also a nice nib. I'm going to cover the past the panel, tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and then I'll do a writing sample. Okay, here we go. Top of the uh, the cap, finial. You can see it's nice and reflective. You have this nice clip with the ball at the end, make it easy to slip it in a pocket or something. You have the center band that says Aurora and then has a Greek key, Miana shape. You have the barrel, which actually has a very vintage looking inscription, which I, I enjoyed a lot. You have the piston turning knob, which is rather flat again. Okay, the cap unscrews, and then you have this nice ink window, which is not actually pink. It is clear, but this is the ink I have in there. You can see the ink level very well. Uh, I really like the section on this one, it's very pleasant. And then you have the nib, there we go, which is a 14 karat gold medium nib. It took me a little bit of time to figure out what type of nib it was, but then, because at first I couldn't see it, but then you can see here in the right light, the ink has discolored the feet a little bit, and then the M actually stood out because I couldn't see that at first. So you have a medium nib here, 14K, it's nice. It offers a little bit of spring, making it a very pleasant writing. Now, it's not a big one. This really is a smaller pen, I would say. It's very cute, but it's relatively small. So for me, I love the section. We're moving into what I like here. I really love the section. Very comfortable, relatively long. These threads are fantastic because they're not sharp at all. It's really, really well made. I'm very impressed by that. I like the overall size because even for larger fingers, it's very pleasant to hold this and to use it. Now, this is a pen that I would use posted. That makes it a little bit more pleasant. With the cap, it becomes a little bit more top heavy, but I still think it's a very nicely balanced pen. I love the nib. Very, very nice, consistent ink flow. It is an Aurora. Aurora is known for slightly toothy nibs, but the, the plus side to that is that it doesn't really give a lot of hard starts. At least I haven't had that. They're not over polished. They're just nicely polished. And I found this to be a very pleasant nib in that regard. Um, it has a little bit of tooth, but it's not at all scratchy. It's a type of feedback that lets you know that you're using a fountain pen, which I think is a very, very pleasant sensation. Uh, an excellent feed. As you can see, it's, uh, it's well made. You see it's slightly discolored by the ink, but that's okay. It'll wash off. Uh, I think it's very, very well made. So a highly uh, decent pen, very well put together. I think it's beautiful. Things I don't like about it. Well, personally, I would have preferred it was a bit bigger, but then you can say, well, then you should have bought an Aurora 88 large. I know that, uh, but again, a 50% off deal that I just couldn't ignore. The price of these pens, uh, here they go for around 300, uh, I think 350 euros. So they're not cheap. But bear in mind, you get a 14 karat gold nib, you get a piston filler, you get a very well-made pen. Are they worth the price? Well, given the size of the pen, how relatively small they are, I would personally prefer 
somewhat bigger pen at that price or a somewhat lower price. So this is a pen I would look for in the deal section, the bargain section. If you can get a reduction, in my case 50% reduction, then I would say it's very much worth it because then you get a pen that has a gold nib, has everything you need for a much lower amount. And I think then it really, really does the price justice. So there you have it. I think what we'll do next is writing sample, but before we do that, let's have some measurements. Capped, the pen is 4.99 inches or 126.8 millimeters. So again, that is really not that big. Uncapped, it's even smaller, 123, yeah, 123 millimeters or 4.83 inches. I'll also measure it posted because I use it posted. That's 6.05 inches or 153.6 millimeters. 9.6 millimeters section diameter or 0.38 of an inch all the way up to 11.6 or 0.45 of an inch. And the barrel at the widest point I would say is about 0.53 or 13.5 millimeters. Let's weigh it too. I get 22 grams and that's about I think the ink level is about 50% of the maximum capacity. So there you have it. Let's look at how it writes. I hope this was useful and I'll gladly see you later. Bye bye. Okay, here we go with the Aurora Optima. This is a medium nib and the ink is platinum mix free I'm not going to write down mix free platinum have I written down platinum no I think it's platinum it's just my illegible handwriting uh, this is their silky purple which I like a lot it's a very pretty color okay I really enjoy this nib. It's not a buttery smoothness. It has a little bit of feedback to it, but in a very pleasant manner. The type of feedback that lets you know that you're writing with a fountain pen. Aurora pens are known for that, and I really find that a very pleasant, pleasant thing. Okay, a bit of fast writing. really nice good even ink supply the feed really does a wonderful job to keep up with the writing and I, I find that a very very pleasant experience okay wetness because of the slight tooth of the writing I have not really experienced hard starts even on this very smooth Clairefontaine paper as you can see it's not an ultra wet pen you can see, you can put down pretty much a fine line without any pressure, and then as you add pressure, you can take it quite far to at least a broad, I would say. Now, definitely not semi flex you really have to apply some pressure for that uh, on the nib for, to, to arrange this. However, it's definitely a very pleasing nib, I would say. Okay, reverse writing, very dry, very scratchy. I would not recommend that with this nib. Alright, that was the Aurora Optima, a popular model. I hope this was useful, and um, I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye.